Hello friends, welcome once again to the Math Shortcut Tutorials by sscexamtutor.com. Percentage is one of the most important topics for all competitive exams. In SSC exams, 8 different types of questions based on percentage are asked, such as uh, question based on dishonest dealer, question based on income expenditure, question based on election of candidate, uh, one type uh, related to reduction in price enables a customer, etc. Okay, so in this tutorial, I will be dealing with one of these these kinds. I will share the shortcut of other parts in some other tutorial. Okay, so let's have a look on some sample question. These are typically tire one question. These question are pretty simple, but student still make mistakes. A common mistake they make is they think that uh, for example, let's say, uh, first question said, if x is less than y by 25%, y exceeds xy. So, they consider the value of x is equal to 100 and y is equal to 125. Okay. So, they think that if y is 25% greater than x, then x will also be 25% less than y. So, they uh, mark 25%, which is wrong. It's wrong. Okay. So, in this tutorial, I will show you how to solve these questions within seconds even without using pen and paper. Yes, you heard it right. You don't need pen and paper for solving these questions. Excited? Okay, let's move ahead. Before I start uh, this uh, shortcut part, uh, I, uh, let me tell you that I will be using the percentage method. Um, so, so, I will uh, make the use of uh, fraction in this uh, shortcut. So, let's see some basic concept about the fraction. As you all know, percentage comes from per plus cent and cent means 100. So, percentage means 1 upon 100. If we say we have 10 percent, so can we change it into fraction? Yes, we definitely can. So, 10 percent can be written as 10 upon 100 which can further be written as 1 by 10. Similarly, 25 percent can be written as 1 upon 4. Okay. Now, let's consider you have 1 by 4 as a fraction and someone asks you to um, increase the value of given fraction by making changes to the numerator and denominator. So, how will you increase the value of given fraction? There are two possible ways. First by increasing the value of numerator. Let's see. We have 1 upon 4. So, when we add any number except 0 to the numerator, it will increase the value of a fraction. So, in this case, we get 2 upon 4 which is a greater fraction than 1 upon 4. And second method is by decreasing the value of denominator. So, we again have 1 by 4. So, uh, we have uh, decreased it by 1. So, at the end we get, get 1 upon 3 which is a greater fraction than 1 upon 4. Okay. So, in this shortcut, I will be using the denominator method. Okay. So, ignore the first part, the um, first uh, method the, um, which uses the numerator. So, I will be using the denominator method. So, in the same way, if someone asks you to, uh, someone asks you how you will decrease the value of a given fraction by making changes to the numerator and denominator. So, it is again very simple by decreasing the numerator. So, when uh, consider we have 2 upon 4 and uh, we decrease the numerator part by subtracting 1 from it. So, at the end it became 1 upon 4 which is a smaller fraction than 2 upon 4. And the second method is by increasing the value of denominator. So, we have 2 upon 4 and uh, we added 1 to this de denominator and at the end we got 2 upon 5 which is again a smaller fraction than 2 upon 4. And as I said earlier, I will be focusing on denominator method. So, uh, for this shortcut, for solving uh, 
uh, all question that you just saw. So, ignore the numerator part and I will be using only the denominator method. Okay. So, let us move ahead and uh, uh, see how to solve these questions. So, the first question says if x is less than y uh, by 25 percent then y exceed x by. In this kind of question you need to focus on just two parts. First is percentage part okay, and another is the part which said exceed more less or something like that. Okay. So, let us see in first step you need to convert this fraction uh, sorry percentage into fraction. So, here we have 25 percent so can be write 25 percent as 1 by 4 yes definitely we can and the second step is to increase or decrease the fractional value based on your question. So, in this case it said exceed exceed means more. So, we will try to increase the value of this fraction this 1 upon 4 by using the denominator method. Okay. So, we have 1 by 4 and we want to increase the value of this fraction. So, what will you do? In order to increase the value of this fraction using the by making the changes to the denominator. So, we will simply make the denominator smaller. Okay. In order to make it uh, smaller be subtracted 1 from the denominator. Why 1? Because it is in the numerator be subtract or add depending on question and we will use every time the numerator. Okay. So, here the numerator was 1. So, be subtracted 1 from 4 and at the end we get 1 upon 3. So, and the last step is multiplying the result by 100. So, multiplying 1 by 3 into 100 we get 100 upon 3 that is uh, 33 and 1 upon 3. So, this is the answer. This is very simple. Let us see the same, uh, same method in this question. So, I said when you come across this kind of question just focus on two parts. The first is uh, the percentage and the second is which appears uh, uh, mostly at the end of the question which says less or more or, or exceed or something like that. Okay. So, the first step is converting this uh, uh, converting this percentage into fraction. So, 20 percent, 20 percent can be written as 1 upon 5. The next part, part is by increasing or decreasing the fractional value based on your question. Here less, it says less, less means decrease. So, how will you decrease this fraction that is 1 upon 5 by making changes to the denominator, only denominator, do not focus on numerator. Okay. So, in order to decrease the value of uh, this fraction, you will have to add something you will have to add something in denominator. Okay. So, what will you add? You will add the numerator part. We have added the numerator part. Okay. So, on adding the numerator part to the denominator, we get 1 upon 6 and the last step is multiplying the result by 100. So, when we multiply the result by 100, we get 100 upon 6, which on further simplification, get 50 upon 3 is equal to 16 and 2 upon 3, which is the answer. Again, the next question, in, we, in, in, in this question, we will try to fasten this process, so that you can calculate it more quickly. Okay. So, again, just I just, um, just said, in this type of question you need to focus on just two parts. One is the percentage part and other which says less, lower, smaller, greater, exceeds. Okay. So, here it says lower. Lower means you will have to decrease the value of fraction. So, 25 percent can be written as 1 upon 4. Okay. 
and uh, in order to lower in this question it says lower so you will have to decrease the value of fraction and for uh, for decreasing the value uh, you will have to add some value to the denominator and uh, what we were adding in the previous question just the numerator adding or subtracting the numerator okay so here the numerator is 1 so we added this in the denominator and we got 1 upon 5 and uh, the last step was to multiply the 100 so when we multiplied the 100 to this result we got we get 20 which is the answer so very easy so do you need uh, pen and paper for this I don't think no some practice questions for you so I have already solved question number 1 2 and 3 so your task is to solve 4 5 6 and 7 and uh, I don't think uh, you need pen and paper for solving this so try to solve it without pen and paper I'm pretty sure that you will be able to do this okay that's the end of our tutorial so if you are watching this video for the first time I will request you to subscribe to our channel to get updates related to the latest uh, uploads on uh, shortcut tricks I will be uploading more shortcut tricks in uh, upcoming month mm, in March you will see uh, lots of shortcut tricks based uh, lots of shortcut tricks uh, on different topics so keep checking and uh, uh, since uh, sharing is caring uh, I request you to share this video and this channel among your friends so that they can learn the shortcuts as well and uh, if you find uh, anything uh, or uh, you want to request uh, any tutorial on any particular topic do the same request the same through comments okay so Good luck and have a have a great day. Thank you.